by commentary breakdowns here. So viewer James Chung claimed that I'm biased against Wing Chung for some reason. So he linked me some clips. So let's watch some clips to show Wing Chung's effectiveness. So this is Bosch Rutten. Bosch Rutten's teaching kind of parrying techniques. And um, this James says this is kind of got roots in Wing Chung, which I see. Um, took some Cantonese Wing Chun classes, and we've done very similar drills to this. So, okay, that's cool. That's very cool. James said this is Vitor Belfort using Wing Chun. So it's Vitor versus Vanderlei. Those are just left rights, man. I would not say that that is Wing Chun per se, but it's still pretty cool. This is John Jones' techniques, this oblique kick. The shovel kick that you always see him using um, could be Wing Chun based. I don't know. I've heard other people say there are other non Wing Chun sports that do the oblique kick. So, but that is pretty cool, guys. By the way, I love this channel. Look at this. I love this channel, Fight Science. You guys should definitely go subscribe to them. So, shout out to Fight Science. This is um, I made this video back in 2015, so this was a while ago. See, I'm biased against Wing Chun. I was defending Wing Chun in 2015, guys. But this was Holly when she was fighting Ronda Rousey. Look at this. Look at that oblique kick. Keep, especially Ronda Rousey. I'm sorry, Holly's a little taller, right? So she's got that oblique kick, you see, and then prevents the punch. And then she used it twice. Look at that. Look at that. So she dodges, gets off center line. So she dodges the punch, and then she kicks. So... I actually, I showed it again later. So you see, boom, look at that, boom. So now we have, this is one of Alan Orr's students. I've subscribed to him for a while, guys. Um, I, all of you think I don't know Alan Orr. Of course I know Alan Orr, people. So this is fighter Josh called Danny. We'll just very briefly watch a little bit of the fight. So, boom, boom. So look at that, Josh is... Oh my god, Josh has knocked him down. Okay, so this fight looks like it's in Wing Chun guy's favor. Josh is the Wing Chun student of Alan Orr. Now, it's in kind of like three-quarter guard. So, um, Josh has his right arm trapped. And his head. So, yeah, it's, it's a good way to stall right now to kind of recover but yeah, Josh needs to what's called posture and getting some body shots to prevent trying to weaken our guys, his opponent's guard. Josh is on top right now. Um, that guard is not in tight. Um, let's see. Um, I'm, I'm thinking Josh is looking to pass right now because he's kind of stand well he was kind of standing up a little right, right yep if you stand up you can break this lock here but again this is MMA this is not jiu-jitsu so there's a lot more um when when you can punch and hit so Josh has to be a little careful of course right because there's many attacks from the bottom too arm bars triangles omoplatas at least in the beginning, the the guy was pretty efficient with the punches. So looks like they hug for a while. Not saying it to make fun of MMA guys. So Josh is maintaining very good top pressure. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna jump forward for sake of fair use. You guys can watch it. Oh, so it goes to the second round. So now, okay. Let's see if Josh is gonna use more Wing Chun. Gotta watch for the kicks, Josh. So, oh, Josh is bigger. Wait, he's way bigger than our guy. Oh, that was cool. Okay, let's 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 watch that again. Watch that. So, look at that. You see that? So, goes in and boom, gets him. So that was pretty cool. Sword back. They're clinched. 
Let's see if Josh has any techniques against. Boom! Okay, yeah. That's really interesting. So, that was pretty cool. Boom, right there. Boom. So, again, this guy is training Wing Chun, but he seems to have, you know, the full package, right? He knows how to fight on the ground. He knows how to maintain top pressure. He knows how to clinch. So, I think if you have Wing Chun as part of your repertoire, but not fundamental, your only repertoire, then it could work. So, here we have... Ooh, look at that Wing Chun fighter. MMA fighter, or Muay Thai fighter, whoever that is. That was a very weak attempt at a takedown. So, this is pretty cool. His hands are fast, man, from the Wing Chun. This is cool. Look at our man. Our Wing Chun guys in white. Decent takedown defense. Look at that. Decent sprawl. Look at that. Ooh. Interesting. So that's all I'm going to watch, guys. This is from... ASDKF Sandow Kung Fu Association. So, um, this looks Portuguese or Italian. So, go subscribe to them. This is Mark Hobbs. Mark Hobbs' channel. Um, so, they're doing Chi Sao. And it looks pretty cool, man. Hey, you can see the cameraman here doesn't show much so this is Mark Cobbs again so they're kind of testing some of these chi sao techniques very interesting oh what's the cameraman doing I can't see anything what are you doing there they are so sticky hands Super cool. It's really cool to see white people do it. <laughs> I'm saying this as an Asian. I'm serious. It's really cool to see. Like, I don't know. Maybe some people say it's cultural appropriation, but this is really tight to see them try to implement this into Western systems. So this um, guy, I'm sure we all know his end dragon. I've looked at some of his videos. He found something of Tony Ferguson. So Tony Ferguson apparently used Wing Chun once. Look at that. It's like trap. So you trap the arm and then use the elbow. And of course, Zen Dragon has John Bone Jones throwing the kicks. And then this is Leota Machida practicing. Chisa. Of course, we know Leota Machida. He's got a karate base, I believe. And, you know, he's a very, very celebrated UFC fighter. Um, shout out to this channel, Karen Brandt. And then this is Tony Ferguson um, practicing on the wooden dummy. Look at that. And this is courtesy of the channel Champions. So this is pretty cool, man, to see Tony Ferguson do this. So ultimately, guys, I mean, there are a lot of weaknesses to Wing Chun, but like many of you say, probably depends on the fighter and also... It depends on how you mix it with other things, right? It's called MMA for a reason, mixed martial arts. So if you mix it with other things, then you have something for strikes, you have something for clinching, you have something for trapping range, you have something for ground fighting, you have something for throws. Maybe there's a place for Wing Chun in there. All right, guys. Um, I thank the viewer for sending me all these clips. Again, um, just because I didn't look at them does not mean I was trying not to look at them. You just have to shout louder, right? Some people send me clips on email. Some people send me clips on Facebook. So if you only send me clips on YouTube, then there is a very big chance I'm not going to see it or I'm not going to get to it because other viewers were more persistent. So I just want to let that viewer know 
I'm not purposely trying to not look at your clips and, you know, don't please don't be a butthurt Wing Chun person. I'm not trying to make Wing Chun look bad. You just have to send me clips again, which this time I saw, and we're looking at them now. So that's for everyone, man, you know, just because I didn't look at your clips or sometimes your clips get stuck in spam for some reason, especially if you put too many links, it gets stuck in spam because YouTube thinks you're spamming. So doesn't mean I deleted your comment. Doesn't mean I don't want to look at your stuff. It just means to quote Curly from the Three Stooges, you're a victim of circumstance. Okay, guys, let's talk soon. This was Fight Commentary Breakdowns. Yeah, 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 yeah.